Have you ever wanted to customize Salesforce so that the color scheme and the images match the color scheme of your organization? That's what I'm going to show you in this video. Welcome to the Brainy 8 Show, where we talk about all things Salesforce, sharing the coolest features, solutions, and best practices to turn you into a Salesforce rock star. Here's your host, former attorney turned Salesforce consultant and trainer, David Giller. Hey everyone, I am super excited to have you here. And you know, I've actually been wanting to create this video for a while. I just didn't have an opportunity to do it. But right now I happen to be working on a project where it's a client that has, it's a brand new instance of Salesforce. And there are actually, they've been using Salesforce before in Classic. And they're actually moving over to Lightning because they have so much insane technical debt and because their current business needs are actually pretty simplistic and rudimentary in terms of what they need from Salesforce today, it makes more sense to simply start with a brand new org. Anyway, so here I am setting up this new org in Lightning and I now have the opportunity to go ahead and change up the color scheme a little bit to match their branding. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you right now exactly how and where you can do this in Salesforce. All it takes is a couple of minutes and it totally changes the look and feel just from a color scheme perspective. So here we are in Salesforce and we're in the setup screen. All we have to do when we're in the setup screen is navigate into the quick find search box on the upper left hand side and then go ahead and search for the word theme. We're looking for themes and branding. When you find that you can go ahead and select it and you can see that there are a couple of themes already there. We're going to go ahead and create a new theme. And for now, I'll just call this uh, company default. And over here we have brand image. So let's go ahead into Canva and I've got a whole lot of clutter in there. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to create a new, uh, I'm not going to put the actual company logo for the company that I'm putting right now. I'll do that after I record this video. Uh, so we want to create a new image that's 600 by 120. So I'm going to go into Canva, create a design, custom, 600 by 120 and it's going to give me a brand new uh, template of those dimensions that I can work with. So now if I have a company logo, I can go ahead and use it. Uh, let's make believe for a minute that the company is, um, it's, it's for YouTube. So I'm going to go here and just search for YouTube to find a logo. Let's take this one for example. And I can go ahead and put it here. And because I have all this uh, wide space to play around with, I could also put the words in. So let's go here and put in text. And let's go ahead and just make it a little bit more in the center. Let's adjust the colors for all of this to be the same color. So for now, I'm just playing around. Hopefully no employees from YouTube get upset that I am using you guys as uh, a fictional example for this simulation. So here I went ahead and I created this uh, image of the appropriate dimensions. Now I want to go ahead and download it. I want to download it as a transparent uh, background so that I can upload it appropriately and it whatever colors Salesforce puts in the back will just uh, go right through. So I'm going to go right over here and choose for the brand image. I'm clicking on it. Let's go ahead and choose that image that I just that file that I just created and I can see it shows up right here. Brand color. If I have a specific brand color, I can go ahead and insert it here. You can see that I can also choose colors. Now for something like this, if I was in fact uh, working with YouTube and uh, this was in fact the appropriate shade of red, you can see I just made it up on the fly, but if it was in fact the appropriate shade of red, I can go here, I could simply get the appropriate hex color and I can go back in here and I can put in that specific hex color so that the brand color is going to be consistent. And what we could see happen over here is Salesforce immediately created a bunch of complementary, uh, uh, I'm sorry, identified a bunch of complementary colors to create a palette for this particular uh, color scheme for this user interface, for this theme. Uh, 
We can see over here, I can also go ahead and I can choose colors for the page background, the global uh, header background if I wanted to. I'm going to leave those alone for now, but you can really have a little bit of fun uh, in terms of customizing this a little bit more. Now we can see down here that there are images uh, that we can start using. We can start inserting here. So I can see that the page background image is 1800 by 360. Turns out I actually have images of those dimensions already because I've actually done this quite a bit before. Uh, so I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose, for now I'll just choose this one to put in the background. Now uh, what I have in Canva is page 14. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose download and I only want to download page 14, just that one banner image. And let's go ahead and download that. So it's downloading it to my computer. And then I can go back in here and I can choose upload. And I can take that banner image and it's now getting uploaded. And that's going to appear in the background of all of my pages, essentially like as they refresh, it'll appear for a brief second. And then it will be in the background behind the lightning components. Now I can go over here and I can see uh, we can also define for the default group when someone creates like a chatter group, what should be the default image as well as user profiles. So uh, for these, let's go ahead and let's choose, uh, let's go back into Canva over here and let's choose something else for the user profile. So let's get rid of this one. I created a new page and let's go ahead and choose something just uh, nature landscape. So I'm going to type in the word landscape and uh let's choose something like uh let's choose this one and just go ahead and place that there i can adjust it a little bit and now let's go ahead and download that one so i'm now downloading page 15 for my user profiles and uh, let's see if I have anything. Let's choose this one, page 11, for the group banners. So let's go here, download, and it's page 11. And now if I go in here, so for the user profile, that's going to be this image that I downloaded. And for the group banner, I'm going to choose this one. And those are going to be the default banners that appear going across the top for those particular areas of Salesforce. Now, let me show you something I think is a little sneaky, but kind of fun to do. Oh, actually, let's go ahead for the default group avatar. Uh, let's go in here. Uh, nope, nope. Uh, let's go back home from my Canva. And I actually have a folder for all sorts of Salesforce configuration related stuff. So we can see here chatter group images. I already have a bunch of them formatted here. And I just have this generic image of people together. Um, you could do all sorts of other things. Those were for some specific chatter groups that I created. I'm going to just use this generic one. So let's go here and just download. And I'm just going to download page one. Now let's go back into Salesforce as that image is downloading. And I can go here and I can choose it. So that's going to be the default image, uh, the avatar for the group. So getting a little bit sneaky. Uh, it's a little pet peeve of mine when users, I'll, say, I'll use the word refuse. I know it's a little bit strong. But they refuse to upload their profile picture as an avatar in Salesforce. This just annoys me. It's like, what are you freaking trying to be incognito or what? So I came up with this somewhat devious way of encouraging them or shaming them into putting their own profile image. So all you really have to do here is you go to Google and you just do a Google search for surprised emoji and choose whichever one you want. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to choose this one. And let's just go ahead and uh, I'll just drag it to my desktop. And now that's saved, that transparent image saved on my desktop, I can go back in here and I can set that image. Well, where am I desktop? Uh, I can set that image as the default image that users will have until they go ahead and upload their own profile picture. So this is a great way of like getting people to be like, hey, what the heck's going on with that? Why, why is that emoji there? Uh, you'll see what I mean in a minute because 
in this org. It's a brand new org. I did not upload one myself. So uh, we can see over here all of the settings. Just review all of the settings that we did. And I'm going to go now and simply hit save. And we can see that it's saved. And let's go ahead. Uh, let's preview it. So I click on preview over here and now it's going to show me what the screens will look like. So if I navigate into the, let's say sales app, we could see that banner image that I put there. It's now appearing and okay. You can go away. Like I said, it's a brand new org. Uh, by the way, I don't really like the plain white background. So I'm going to go back and change that in a moment. But now you can also see that avatar that I showed you, that surprised emoji that appears. Uh, that's what's appearing over here. But let's look for some color palettes. And let's choose a shade of brown. And let's see what shade of brown I'll use. Let's uh, go ahead with this one. And I want this shade of brown. So I'm going to just grab that hex color. Let's go back into themes. And for the page background, I'll just choose that hex color. And now let's go ahead and save it. And now we'll also activate it. And after I'm done with this recording, I'll actually truly upload the company's logo. But you can see now the kind of the logo that I set up is now appearing over here on the upper left hand side. And now we can see when I navigate over to the app that I want to start using, I can see that the color scheme that I selected actually appears. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the user uh, banner that I selected earlier. So now we can see when I navigate into the user, I have that um, landscape banner that I uploaded in the theme is now appearing here as well as that ugly emoji of an avatar to encourage the user to go ahead and click on the little camera icon and go ahead and upload their own image. Now also if I wanted to create a chatter uh, group I can go ahead and let's go ahead and create one group right now. Let's call this test group. And if I don't have a custom photo for the group, I'm going to now just leave it alone. Let's go ahead and hit done. And you can see when I navigate into the group, the default banner as well as the default avatar that I selected previously are now appearing here by default. Yet at the same time, the admins of the group can go ahead and customize the group banner as well as the avatar. So that's how you can go ahead and customize your theme and branding of Salesforce to match the branding, the look and feel of your own org. Takes a couple of minutes to do, super easy, and usually it will delight your users and they're going to wonder how on earth did you pull that off. Anyway, that's it for me. Go ahead and drop me a note. Uh, I want to hear your thoughts on this particular feature. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.